Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD. And yes, how to create a system backup uh, for your Windows 10 environment. It's always great to back up your system environment because you never know, there's probably an update that you pushed out or Microsoft pushed out to your machine and stuff starts acting weird. So having a clean copy of your Windows environment is the best way to go. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. A couple of ways you could do it. You go inside the start menu and you can click on the gear you could go inside your action center click on all settings or you could just go inside start and just start typing backup it's going to take you to the settings uh, app now from here backup you want to go to more options within the backup options you want to go into the c advanced settings click on that you're going to get into the file history and all the way in the lower left hand corner you're going to see the system image backup click on that you're going to get another window and that window you're going to see two more options right here and the one that you want to do is create a system image now automatically you're going to get this dialog box and it's going to prompt you three options best practice is you're going to have a flash drive that's big enough to fit your entire system or an external hard drive or you can actually burn it inside a DVD for this example I'm going to do it within a network it's not best practice to do it over a network but you know what uh, I'm gonna do it over the network so this right here is 114 this is the network right here there's nothing inside the folder so I'm gonna do a refresh blank I'm gonna copy this path because this is the path that I'm going to do uh, my image backup so I'm gonna hit select I'm going to paste that and because it's a network, you got to make sure you give it the credentials to access that particular network path. Make sure I type the password right. And we're going to click OK. And once you do that, you're going to click on Next. Now, if you have multiple partitions like a C drive, D drive, E drive, you're going to get a dialog box showing you all the partitions. And then you're able to select the ones that you want to back up. Now, I don't, I don't have that luxury of having multiple partitions within this environment. I only have one partition, so automatically the system image is going to back it up. If not, you're going to get this nice little dialog box and is going to just say, hey, this is what's being backed up. And what we're going to do is uh, start backup. Now, right now, it's, the backup could take up to 14 gigs of disk space. That's why I'm saying you make sure that the flash drive, portable flash drive is big enough. 32 gig flash drive should fit everything. If not, you could do an external hard drive. I am going to click start backup. And right now, Windows is saving the backup. And eventually, if we go inside our file server and we'll do a refresh, we should see a folder pop up uh, indicating Windows image backup something and inside there are all the files that we need to do our system recovery alright so it looks like our system image is already completed when it's done you're gonna get this dialog box that states do you want to create a system repair disk I really recommend doing this but before we even go and hit yes uh, let's go inside my file share right here and there it goes a Windows image backup folder this is going to be the name of the your desktop or PC and you got all that good stuff. So I'm gonna right click and go to properties and the size of it is about 11.4 gigs. That's pretty cool. And we are going back into our Windows 10 machine and we're going to click yes. Okay, so the only way to create a system repair disk is to create a CD or DVD drive. Uh, so I inserted a blank disk and we're going to click on create disk. It's gonna prepare it, it's preparing it, it's creating a disk, it shouldn't be like a big amount I put I actually put a DVD drive uh, so maybe a CD drive would be best I don't think there's a lot of information being stored inside this medium but uh, we're gonna let it create the disk and once it's completed uh, we're done with our system image backup okay so once your system repair disk is completed you're gonna get this this is awesome uh, make sure you remove it from your CD-ROM drive and label it repair disk Windows 10 64 bit and keep it to the side and also make sure that this particular backup is on a flash drive external hard drive whatever I would say make multiple copies like an external hard drive flash drive the more copies that you have the better that you're safe uh, you know recovering your Windows 10 
So I'm going to click OK on all this stuff, close it, exit out of here, exit out of here. We're going to close that up and I'm going to go to the Fire Explorer and go to this PC. And there, I'm going to right click on this guy and we're just going to open it. And once we open it, we're going to see a lot of stuff and this looks pretty good. This is like the boot image that allows me to boot inside the repair disk.